Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 6. So, having understood the two ways to add a vector, now let's go through some of the properties of vector addition. So, first is the commutative property. It says that you have two vectors, A and B. You say A plus B, you get this vector. Or you say B plus A, example, you have B vector. On this, you are adding A vector. You get this vector. Both are same. You say A plus B, you get this. You say B plus A, you get this. And both are same. So, you add the way you want, you get the same value. That is called commutative property. An addition to commutative property is the additive property. You say A plus B, then you add C, or you say A plus B plus C, both are same. So, it is pretty simple actually. So, you have A vector, let's suppose you have B vector, right? So, you add these two A plus B, you get, let's suppose, some vector, right? On this, you are adding C vector. So, final vector is this guy, A plus B plus C, right? Or you have, let's suppose, this A vector, then you have B vector, and you have C vector. First, you add B and C, you get this vector. On this vector, you add A, you get this one, right? A plus B plus. You get both, in both cases, you get same answer. In this first case, what I did was, you first, I added A plus B first. Whatever result I got on that, I added C. In this case, first I added B plus C vector. Correct, I got this value, this vector. On this vector, I added A vector. So, you first add A plus B, then add C, or you first add B plus D, then add A, doesn't matter. All one and the same. So, that is called associative property. Additive identity, I told there is something called zero vector. So, you have some vector, in this vector you add zero, it is still A vector itself. Multiplication of vector by scalar, so you have some vector, let's suppose 4 unit, you multiply this by 5, so this becomes 20 unit, correct. And it says that magnitude of this vector, if you see, is nothing but 5 into 4, lambda is 5 and 4 is my a unit vector. So you can multiply a vector with the scalar and the, sc the, the vector increase or decrease based on the lambda. If lambda is more than 1, it increases. Let's suppose in this case it is 1 by 2. So 4 by 2 becomes 2. It is smaller now. So you can multiply a vector with a scalar, not an issue. Additive inverse. You add a vector A with the same vector of opposite direction, you get a zero vector. Correct? So if you have this vector, you do a head to tail matching. This guy overlaps like this. The final vector is a zero vector because the final vector is a vector which starts from here and ends here itself. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.